still in Scaris, and the day wouldn't be finished without talking to one of my graduates. Uh, Mark was graduate, Mark Potts was graduate in uh, 2013 and uh, raced last year uh, full time in Belgium and now this year again. Uh, and Don Arras, but also he done something special this week because he was a few times very close of uh, getting the country, uh, the country, county uh, uh, classification. Uh, was a few times top 10. So uh, we just have a wee word with him uh, about w what he feels after. Mark, how did it go for you? Yeah, it went pretty good. Um, it's a long race, so you kind of have to pick your pick your days. And some days you need to take it a bit harder. Some days you need to commit everything to it. And I had a few days where, you know, I committed everything. Stage three, we got away in a break and thought, got into five and a half minutes. I thought, you know, this is going to be the day they let one go and they're going to let it go to the line. So committed big time to that. And it ended up it didn't work out. You know, they brought it back and 3K to go. We were just, we were caught. But, uh, you know, if you don't try, you don't you don't get. And I, try, I did try again. Uh, um, the cross, second cross one day, I was cut out the first cross one day. I was too far back and missed out. And the next day I knew they were going to, on post, were going to do it again. So got up the road and surely enough, they split in the cross winds and it's in the right place at the right time and got away in the first group. But uh, didn't really work out. And we're getting spat out of that and put back the second group. But again, it's just, you, some days you got to, you got to dig deep and you got to just go with what's going. And again, yesterday I went in the break, didn't, uh, didn't work out, we didn't catch the front group, but managed 10th and then again today I just th thought, you know, it's the last day. I heard Pete was going to try and keep, keep himself safe for the sprint. So I thought, well, if there's a break going, I'll try to get in it and at least we'll have a man in that. So yeah, put my own eggs in that basket. Caught in the break and uh, yeah, it was caught. But you know, if you don't try these things, you, you never try, you never get. Like, there's no point in paying money and coming all the way down here just to sit in the bunch. Like, you gotta, you gotta get stuck in and see what you can do. So, I feel like I've done that. And one of the goals before I came down here was to try and get top ten on the stage, and I've done that yesterday. So, I'm pretty happy. I would have, would have liked the county rider prize in the stage, but. It just, uh, it just shows the strength of the county riders, you know, and it was great to see Damon Shaw get second two stages and third again today. Like, that's awesome. I'd love to see him take the win, but it just shows, yeah, that county riders can, uh, can fight with the pros if they want to, like, so it's it's really good to see, and um, I'm sure uh, in the next few years we'll have a county rider one on the stage, if not a couple, like, so, yeah, it's been a good weekend. You proved yourself very much so, uh, Mark. Uh, uh, it will do you f good as well for the championships, who is your hometown as well in Oma. And I don't know if you're going to go racing between that and Belgium, uh, but uh, I just uh, it, it will help you anyway what you have done here to the, uh, this week. Uh, you were, you were, uh, uh, I was excited all week because I saw your name popping up. I saw you uh, on, the, on the life the life uh, stages, you know, that you actually can follow the race. So your name popping up a few times together with Peter because you and Peter done very well for the team. Yeah. And also it's a neighboring team of mine, uh, North Down. Yeah. Second, I think you're second as well in the, in the, the county uh, classification. So my God, uh, you done very well, you know. So so what are your, are your plans really for the near future? Uh, well, for this year, i um, going to have two weeks now at home. And uh, still do a couple of races right home, but I'm heading away to uh, one of the track training camps in New York now in the eight, and I'll be away there for two weeks, and then back for the nationals, and then after the nationals, I'll be going to uh, back to Belgium again for the rest of the year. So uh, yeah, pr pretty busy with stuff, but uh, hopefully uh, carry a bit of good form out of this and get a few results in on the bigger races, you know. You maybe get a few offers as well in the meantime because uh, what you've done this week will definitely help your career as well. Uh, fingers crossed, you know. I think uh, hopefully I show myself like I showed like I've got potential, and hopefully the team's seen that. But you know, they didn't actually get on the stage this week at any point for anything, so. I feel like I have let myself down that way, but yeah, hopefully someone's seen it and seen a bit of potential there, you know. In my book, results are only, when you see results, you don't see the real race, you know, and that's what happened with you. You may be just outside these results, but uh, yeah, you still done well. Uh, well done, Mark. Uh, it was uh, lovely to see you here. Uh, have a good trip home and uh, say hello to everybody, but uh, thanks for talking to us. All right, thank you, Danny.